Hello, I'm, this, I'm Ken and uh, I welcome you to uh, Art to Art with Ken and I thought we'd do something as we've got this long holiday <laughs> so I, I'd like to take you up to my studio and uh, we'll do some painting to uh, fill in the time Thank you uh, um, Good afternoon my friends and um, you're very welcome to my art room. I'm Ken Brown and uh, I've been teaching now uh, since 1951 so I'm getting on a bit and uh, I'm just working on a video called uh, Home Alone 90. So what I'm going to do today I'd like to do a painting with you and I thought of something really simple so I thought right let's do something that's quick and easy to do and so I've decided on uh, New York and uh, if you do it with me or watch me doing it that would be great um, I'm using uh, acrylic paint uh, it's water soluble and you must uh, wash your brushes with soap and water when you're finished and try not to get it on your clothes because it's an awful job to get off. So I'll show you the uh, picture we're going to do. There it is. There it is. Um, it's quite a straightforward. Um, I think it's quite dramatic. So in a way, but it's quite easy and it's quite it's quite quick. So the colours you need are on there. There's black, red yellow and white and when you mix uh, acrylic you always mix the light colour first and add the dark colour don't do it round the other way so it doesn't really take very long to do this and I hope you enjoy it while I'm doing it I won't say much while I'm doing it because I don't <laughs> I usually paint so if you just like to watch that would be great and at the end um, it would be a marvellous idea if you, you yourself have a go at something like that and if you could photograph it and send it to Ian and we could have a sort of competition to see who uh, produces the, the best item. Is that alright? So thank you very much and I'll, I'll get on with it now. Thank you. Right now. If you notice I'm using acrylic paint <clears throat> and um, the way I work I work from the dark to the light now acrylic is water soluble but it dries very 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 quickly and so what you do when you're mixing always mix the light colour with the dark never dark with light I'll show you as we go along I've got a section of brushes there already, uh, plenty of water, uh, nice to have a cloth. The, the main thing is, in, when you start off, is to make sure that the light is coming from the, if you're right handed, from the left hand side, so that the shadow of your hand is not on your drawing. Do you see that? that so that is completely clear. If you're left-handed, well, you'll have to move house, that's all. It's sad. But that, I've got no shadow on my drawing at all. So, um, I'll see with what we can do. And what I've done at the bottom here, I've drawn a line that's five centimetres above. That's going to be the river, the Hudson River. Because I think last time I saw New York, it was on the Hudson River. So, I'm going to try and do... A very dramatic sky to start with so I pick my brush that's it and I'm going to going to mix a grey by taking the white here and uh, just bringing the bring the black to it I've got a grey which is what I want right can you see I hope so can you see right <laughs> right so we'll have a fairly dark grey surface up here and 
Right, don't forget to wash your brush thoroughly each time you change colour. I'm going to move on now to a dark, I want a dark orange. So I'll take the yellow to start and I'll mix up until I get a nice dark orange, which is what I want. Is that alright? Hello oh, enough. Jerry? Right. So we'll take that through there. Now let's introduce some let's introduce some yellow a little more yellow get more a more orange surface there we go Let's pick it up again, a little more orange. Come down to about just over halfway down the picture. I have to keep checking because this is my first effort, so we'll have a go for it. Right. Now while we're doing that, we might as well paint the Hudson River in as well. I'm taking a, again an orange, slightly darker orange. Let's put the Hudson River in. There, carefully there, right. Now, we're working now with the same brush, a wide brush, flat edge, and I'm going to put in rather a lot of black, so let's mix up the black. We've got a lot to do, and here we go. Right, not too much water. With um, acrylic you just need enough water for it to run smoothly. That's all. Thank you. 
I forget to leave it in there, right? Okay. Now we can start on the actual buildings of the uh, of of New York itself. <laughs> right. So I'm starting on the left hand side. Make sure your brush is well charged. And we'll come off and start on the Make sure it's just slightly a square top and then come down up 45 degrees like that and straight down. Right. Next one, let's move in. Again, nice and straight at the top. And then at 45 degrees, straight down. At the end, we'll put in a solid line, a long one. Again, a lot more paint. Now we can start stepping in the solid colour. Now, there's a little one here. Again, 45 degrees, straight down. Right. Now let's have a got the Empire State Building, which is a bit bigger. It's time to come in a little bit. Like that. And up again, smaller still. So a little bit bigger here. Yeah. 
and right the way up. To the right, the top. There's 200. Sorry, 102. Uh, 102 uh, stories on the Empire State Building, and uh, at, right at the very top, there's a gate which has got steel rings on it, and um, it's to stop people throwing themselves off. Right, so, right, let's move on. We want another big building here. Again, coming down. Again, square top. This time we'll make it a little bit bigger. Right, <clears throat> nice tall one now. A nice tall one. Close to it. We'll put another one here as well. Right. Nice tall one. Quite a big strong one this time. How are we doing, Harry? It's <laughs> okay. Yeah, good. Does it look alright? Mm-hmm. 
I don't think these are high enough really. <coughs> I'll take that one a bit closer. That's it. Just changed my mind at the end. Come down a bit more. Right. Right, now I've got a nice big fat one at the end here. <clears throat> Straight across the top, get the size of the one you want. And then down. Right, now we're going to whopper at the end. talking much am I? <laughs> right so never mind um. right what do you think we're getting there hmm? Right, you just um, enjoy yourself now, you can take any, any shape you like really, now. Well, we can change these buildings a little bit.
Right. Right. Then. Um, <laughs> right, now let's, oh, finish off at the top, I see that, a little bit. They don't really take very long. Wash your brush out thoroughly. <clears throat> Just touch in the bits and pieces you want. Now with a fine brush, little fine brush here, you can put some of the detail in. <clears throat> now, in the York there's a lot of things which they have lots of wires and things hanging down. Like that. And they also like flagpoles. Finish off the little detail there. Right, up to the top. Oops. Make sure your brush is clean. Just anywhere you need. Uh, just over the top there. A little tiny space. So, you could do with a little bit more orange in there, I think. Just the jester. Right, um, let's have a look. Yeah, I think we'll shut that one in. a little bit more yellow there. It's nice and clean. Right. right. Now, well, let's get down to the the river itself. And the, the best way to do it is just a few lines back in the river like this
keep seeing bits I want to change. Let's move that slightly darker. It won't hurt if we if we put a, let's put a boat in there, little boat, and they're belonging to someone. I don't know who it belongs to, but we'll pop it in again, just slightly lighter than the black, so it shows up. cabin on it. Let that dry. And just touching any thing we've missed here. Right. Now I'm not putting any windows. I know I'll be here about two days. So it was the idea was just a, a, a dramatic picture really of the of the um, of the sort of vista of New York. Right. Now what I'm going to do is put a couple of windows in. I have a little boat down here, so. Uh, Let's see if it works. Also, a line like that. Now, there's always a lot of lights around in New York, so usually um, 
There's warning lights, so let's have one or two. On top of the um, walkway there, there's a little walkway along the front there, so we can put that in. It's usually got some lights. So, and um, here's the yellow. Actually, I'll show you the watches. Anyway. So, right. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope we see you again soon. Don't forget to send us a picture of uh, what you've done. Keep safe and keep well and uh, keep painting. Thank you. Bye.